and we are live and we are back let's go i'm Corey. i'm jordan it's the corner full of that podcast and we are back like we never left we are back like we never left episode 37 37 like apparently doak what was his last nah, name the main guy wasn't walker in. the main guy is uh dave's to be he was a baseball player steve s-t-i-e-b i I feel like i'm playing wordle shout out to my wordle okay i'm gonna be very clear i know nothing about wordle why are people posting that all over my Twitter? okay so wordle is a five letter guessing game a five yeah five letter guessing game you have to guess the word okay you get a six tries and for every if you know say you guess the word um oh god let me say you guess the word super Okay, let, let me do this. So the word for today was a uh, skill. Okay. okay. So if you guess, you know, any of those letters, but not in the order, uh-huh. they'll be yellow. If you guess them in the right spot, say I guess a uh, super. Right. Right. So I'll get a green. I'll get a green S because it's the first letter. Then you know, if it's if it's in there but the wrong spot, it'll be yellow. And if it's not there, then it'll be gray. Okay. And you get to guess six times. Is it played on social media? Is that why I see it all? No, nah, it's, it's on. You have to go to the actual website. Hmm. Yeah. I was just curious. It's like literally all over my timeline. I was like, I, I, I don't know who started it. I, okay. I, I, people I work with started playing it, and then it was also on my timeline on Twitter too. Yeah. So I was like, okay, I guess I'll keep doing it. But yeah, we just post in our our chat. You know, when you complete it, and you get to see you get to see those little blo- blocks with like Tetris. Right. That's how many times they got. So the green ones the guess right, yellow ones that they guess the right letter wrong spot. Okay. Yeah. Today's words of skill. I can say that because it's different every day. Some oh, okay. people when people hear this. Be- well, if you want, if you want to play it today, you can go ahead and get it. The funny thing is, like with t- today's word, I've only been doing it for like, cause I started on my work computer. Right. But then you're you don't have like no account, so it just on um, whatever you logged into. So I was like, let me get this on my phone. So I have it somewhere I can always have. I want to keep my streak because I'm like that. And th- this is the first time it was two letters that were the same. So say you guessed an L right, wrong spot, you get a yellow L, but it doesn't tell you like you need two more L's. You know what um, I mean? So today it was skill, which is two L's. But if you were to just guess one L, it doesn't like, you know, there are two L's today. And then, yeah, if you get to six, then you lose your streak. It's a, one, it's a one-time thing, though, too. No refreshing, none of that. So if you mess up, you mess up. Obviously, you can wait till somebody gets it. They post on the internet. You can try on multiple devices. <laughs> That's too much. I'm going to be very clear. I'm probably not going to play it. But no. I just thought I was curious. But. Yeah, I just do it because people at my job do it. And yeah. I was like, it's just something fun. To Shout out to China. I see it on. Uh, yeah. that's who, that, I think she's the first person I saw it on. Mm-hmm. It's all on my timeline. Yeah, I, I didn't know when you hit share that it would post, like, when you caught, like, the, the data is copying was that. I thought people were just making something up. Yeah. I, I was just answering that first moment of my day. All right, I'm, I got it. That's, I was typing in our chat. All right, I got it today. <laughs> that's what I was <laughs> I'm like, I don't like know how y'all making these cues and these little mini Tetris right. things. You know, say the day and how many chances you did and all this stuff. Yeah. All right. My yeah. fault. No, you're good. 30, I mean, I didn't have nothing for 37. That was a 37 energy. <laughs> Shout out to Dave, Steve, and yeah, that Doug, other guy. Doug Walker. It says Steve is the second winning this picture of the 1980s behind only Jack Morris. Don't know who Jack Morris is either. Said he retired. All but two, played all but two seasons. Oh, he played with the Blue Jays. He was named All Star seven times and pitched one no hitter on September second, nineteen ninety. So you know what I'm saying? Anybody, any aspiring Somebody, athletes yeah, out wanna... there being great? It's not like you need to wear number thirty seven because it's open. It seems like it's a lot open because we don't know none of these yeah. people. And for those of y'all who want to know, they did put Michael Jordan over LeBron James for twenty three. Hmm. Hmm. Cool. I don't know what year this is done though. <laughs> All right. Um, Bringing it back. Yeah. Okay. For our, before we get into the errors, for our first time listeners, we talk about health and wealth and fitness and finance and everything in between. And we make sure you save more and save less. And keep making better your best. Yes. Yes. Also, our disclaimer, this is for entertainment purposes only. We forgot to pull it up. So we now, I mean, you can, you know, go ahead. I don't, I go ahead, man. We'll wing it. I don't know how to memorize. Let's go. Jordan and I are not fitness experts or financial experts. Anything we say can be wrong. Do not try to sue us. Uh, yes, anything said on court in full effect <laughs> is, is our opinion and it cannot be taken as uh, legal advice in terms of fitness, finances, or any of the categories that we mentioned in the show. That's it, because we're not about to try to act like right. that. We're not about to be, we're not, look, and whatever we, we're not that dumb. Whatever we say together, yeah, we mean it. We mean all it. right, don't sue us, because dis- you've been disclaimed, all right? Ask your sister if the previous disclaimers go forward. Forward. <laughs> 
I think we did a pretty decent job for it to be off the top yeah. of our head. It wasn't bad. I would like to use exactly what we got for a lawyer, though. Because <laughs> your sister is damn well going to tell us that's not what I told she you like, to say. She can listen to this episode like, what? <laughs> that, that's not what I said. Yeah, right. I did oh, not tell y'all to freestyle the, the, the disclaimer. What did I type that for? All right. Yeah. Okay. All right. Errors, errors, errors. Error section. Go ahead. Well, okay. Can Jordan we go first? Say, yeah, Jordan I don't have any errors. Okay. You already know that. Okay. <laughs> so for episode 35, here goes the math. Who knows what we can do? Okay. Don't worry about the math ever done on this. Okay, I thought we did good on that episode. That we no. we did good. Uh, oh, okay. Then I messed up. All right. Okay. So episode thirty five, I said five percent of sixty thousand was twelve thousand. <laughs> <laughs> That's because five times twelve is sixty. 60. It'd be a lot of numbers in my head. I'm glad I I just I just realized this now, so I'm good on that part because a five and a twelve do get you sixty. But five percent of sixty thousand is three thousand. Okay, so now I was talking about how much money Fidelity and Vanguard are getting every two weeks due to 401k contributions. It's um, $25 billion every two weeks now instead of uh, 100 I was about to say, you said like $100 billion, billion or something. Yeah, it's, it's, it's 3K a month. 3K. Don't even. Yeah. It's money. <laughs> Go ahead. Don't don't don't, look, don't backtrack and you clean up. You good? Nah, nah, nah. I'm gonna do it. It's three thousand dollars, which is five percent of sixty k. That's what I'm gonna say for that. <laughs> I'm not gonna. Do, I'll remember to do the math another day. Uh, oh, gosh. Then, oh, I was talking about Robin Hood. I said consumer um, staples, consumer discretionary on Robin Hood. They have it as consumer defensive for consumer staples and consumer cyclical for consumer discretionary. I don't know why they name it different. I just wanted to clarify that because I was juggling which one was which. And then, oh yeah, the Reg D transfers. So we talk about the Reg D transfers from your savings account to a non-loan. Uh, those were six in a month, at least by law. Uh, during 2020, March, they changed it due to the pandemic. So when I gave all that Reg D stuff, it wasn't valid at the time because it's been infinite since 2020. So there's that. <laughs> My mom told me, she's like, oh yeah, it's, it's been unlimited since the pandemic. I was like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm, 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 so all that Reg D stuff I said, which was in 2021, does not matter. I'll let you guys know when they change it, if they change it back. It's the same way with uh, annual credit report. You get one free a year from each bureau. However, during the pandemic, they change it from one to one a week, essentially unlimited. Because you, if you do a multiple credit report in a six day time window, yeah, I think you just need to stop going into debt. Relax. Then, then Re relax. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You don't. You should. You should need one like. I mean, it's good for like 60 days or whatever. When you apply, so you can get as many pools on your credit. It only counts as one. You're getting loans. So you should, anything really over two months, three months, you, I mean, you messing up. And they got the uh, the tools where you can do the, the soft pools, right? Oh, like yeah, credit card and stuff yeah, like that. So yeah, like, yeah. What are you really checking? Stop it. Get some help. Yeah, somebody get some, <laughs> somebody, that's Jordan Wright. Stop. Right. Get some help. Oh, yeah. my goodness. All right. And the last thing is we're talking about them 11 sectors for the, um, GICS for the stock market, utilities is what I left off. Okay, I was trying to figure out which one. Industrials, materials. I thought we, I think we said it was energy on there. Yeah, and energy and utilities. Those are the ones I forget. I remember everything else, but I always leave off utilities. All right, do you have anything? No, sir. Do you have any feedback? No, sir. All right. <laughs> on to the fitness section. Let's go. Fitness. Sort of like he's like, what is it doing? That sort of sounds like Mc McKinnon when he's doing his, yeah. little voice, his voices. He's like, oh my god, Yo. Th throw to uh, Lopez. So, <laughs> he was wilding out this past week with the with the Rihanna. With the re oh my god, he was let's he be was clear. Tripping. I have friends who were uh, as upset as you can be for someone you don't know. Yeah, group group chat uh, logos got changed. <laughs> Okay, one of my one of my mans, I made a joke. He posted his girl with him across Wednesday. I was like, "You that mad?" He, <laughs> he, 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 like, he loved Rihanna. I was like, "Dad, you that heartbroken that you post your real relationship?" <laughs> <laughs> so uh, uh, now, nah, yeah, he was tripping on those tomato, tomato. tomato. Right. 
He said, I'm going to take these perks even though I know they're not real. Yeah? <laughs> yes, said, real. He said, I, oh, he said I'm going to kill myself. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> um, Where's that tomato thing from? When they go like, tomato, tomato. Uh, I know I know what tomatoes I saw, mean. You throw yeah. them, but. I saw it on social media. I think it, I thought it was from a clip. I it saw it on Twitter. Or something like that. Yeah. Oh, okay. Also, shout out to McKinnon, too, because that's China's cousin. First cousin. Word. So. We don't know him, but we know someone who knows him. Yeah. Child's like, hey, that's my cousin for real. We black, so like, well, what you mean? Yeah. Like, oh no, we got the same grandma. It's like, that's your, that's your cousin or yeah. that's your cousin? No. you gotta ask. She's like, yeah. oh, no, I know him for real, for real. Like, God dang. Uh, you, you, he famous, you local famous, y'all famous. You know, you know. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fitness section. Uh, right. First question is. Let's get it. Is it better? First question is, is. First question. Is it better to run for longer Distance or run faster? Is that the question? Yeah. Just run for a longer distance or run faster? Is that so, grammatically correct? Yeah. It, yeah, it makes sense. I mean, it, you got a master's, I don't. Uh, <laughs> not not uh, English. <laughs> you, don't got very, you don't got a bachelor's in English either. Let's be very clear. I, right? took, I took the necessary classes required for us to graduate. We required freshman English one and two and technical writing. Yeah. That's it. So that's all I had. <laughs> that's it. I have nothing else yeah. above that. <laughs> Prussian English 1 and 2 is all I got. <laughs> that's all I got from 2011 and 12. So I'm 10, I'm 10 years behind on the English game. <laughs> I guess that's why I'd be talking. I gotta be talking. All right, but yeah, should you run for a longer distance or should you run faster, Jordan? So I guess, it, I mean, let me clarify. So in terms of cardio, that's what we're referring to. Is it better to run for a longer distance or is it better to run uh, faster? All right, that, so that, that is the question that I'm answering. All right. Um, the direct answer is it depends on the goal and the workout restrictions. Uh, that's pretty much the bottom line up front. So for the people who don't like listening to our long-winded explanation sometimes about how we get these answers, that's the answer. All right. You're welcome. <laughs> Skip to the finance section. All we, right. We are making use of that. If y'all don't like it, first 30 seconds, you can get your Right. <laughs> I just answered y'all question in the first 12 minutes of the episode. You're welcome. <laughs> Cause we keep saying that we'd be like, all right, yeah. for those y'all don't want to listen to this answer, right? Uh, <laughs> why are we like this? Hey, I'm just trying to help them out. Sometimes people just want you the results. Short, you be short yeah. on time. Hey, hey, you know. Yeah. Okay, so getting to the two options. So running for a longer distance versus running faster. We're gonna talk about running faster first. Um, running faster uh, naturally burns more calories. So we're gonna talk about the the, the benefits of each one, right? Uh, and which one I guess you would choose. Um, well, I guess I already gave y'all the answer, but <laughs> running faster burns more calories, right? Um, when you are running and you're running at a faster rate, um, let's say, let's just use an example, right? If you're running three miles, but I'm running three miles at an accelerated pace, uh, six, seven minute miles, you know what I'm saying? Uh, by default, you are exerting more energy by running those that same distance at a faster pace so you are using more remember we talked about energy cycles in episode 34 i believe i was, I was thinking i don't, I'm, don't look, I'm a reference I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna go for it if not i'll clean it up episode 34 all right it wasn't that long ago that's yeah. I'm, I'm guessing as accurately as i can anyways right. um so we're talking about energy cycles so you're using your etp hmm, you're using your energy store <laughs> i was gonna get to the acronym but i just cleaned that up last episode it's an atp it's either CP or PC. 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 All right. You're using your ATP. PC. What would you do without to really say the wrong stuff? <laughs> <laughs> Look, they were like, Jordan, you just cleaned it up in your air section. Bruh. Yeah, this. Stupid. <laughs> uh, shout out to Takashi. Oh, man. Uh, that's a, I mean, that's a, that's a, there's ever a sound bite. That one's gold. Oh, man. Okay. okay. Yes, ATP. Yeah. So PC. You can use your ATP PC uh, faster as well as your fat stores, right? Um, when running through or when running at an accelerated pace. Uh, so by default, you burn more calories. So personally, so shout out to the Fit Fam and everybody participating in our 100 miles over 100 days. Okay. I have been running about two, to anywhere from two to four miles a day. It depends on how I feel and what else I got going on for the day and when I'm running it, right? A lot of times I've, I've uh, lately transitioned from uh, running, uh, used to run during the morning, now I'm running at nighttime, right? So I'm running 10, 30, 11 o'clock at night, uh, which has kind of changed. Okay, so again, we were talking about how um, the goal and the workout restrictions changed. So me running at nighttime, right, has changed the workout restrictions for me because sometimes I'm just trying to get it done and get out of there. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So because I only have, the gym closes at 11, and I just told you I'm pulling up at 10 o'clock, right? 
So sometimes due to the limitations, if I'm still trying to get a lift in, I now have a workout restriction of 30 minutes. What does that mean? I'm trying to run as fast as I can. I'm trying to cover as much distance as fast as I can, right? So by default, I am going to run faster as opposed to running longer. Um, and I have to put a disclaimer on when I say running faster burns more calories. Again, it depends on the workout restriction, right? You can burn more calories running longer, but you have to have the time to do it. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Um, and we'll cover that in the other section uh, or when we start talking about uh, running longer. Uh, but yeah, so running faster burns more calories, which is what most people want, right? Because most of the time if you're running, you're participating in cardio, your, your overall goal for the person is usually uh, some form of fat loss. Um, you want to make sure that you are meeting your goal, I guess is what I'm saying when you're participating in cardio. So you want to make sure if, if your goal is to, um, if your goal is to, to have a rapid fat loss, then you probably want to burn more calories at a faster rate, which means you probably want to run faster. Um, most people, and we're going to kind of go back and forth at this point, most people run longer when they're trying to meet a specific performance goal, right? So people, for a perfect example, people are trying to get ready for races, right? If you're trying to run um, a 5K, a 10K, a half marathon, a full marathon, you'll usually uh, run longer at a less accelerated pace to get your stamina and endurance up, right? Those are things that are can't be duplicated. You, <laughs> I don't want to say can't. It's, it's very hard to get out and run a marathon if you've just been running three miles at an accelerated pace. Right. Does that make sense? Your body has to adapt to the distance, has to build up that stamina, has to build up that endurance, has to build up that cardi cardiovascular endurance, uh, which is a real big thing. Your body has to go through running um, at least half the distance. So this is a disclaimer. I've, I've actually read some articles where I've seen people saying that the only time they ran 26 miles for the marathon was the actual marathon. Yeah. So this goes. I think that also goes ties back into the energy processes. Remember we were talking about your second win mm -hmm. and how once you hit that third pretty much like that third um, win, everything else after that from mile three to when you stop running is the same. same. Yeah, I think that's what happens for, even when you're training for marathons, right? Uh, so shout out to one of my friends like right now who's actually participating in the 100 miles over 100 days. He's actually preparing for a marathon in March and he kind of sent me what his training schedule looks like. So he does several uh, short runs per week and then once a week he does a long run. Long run being about 10 miles or more, <laughs> right? So it's, I know, it's, <laughs> that's a lot of mileage. Um, and that's usually Wednesday, it's usually in the middle of the week. So he has runs that are, he has uh, recovery runs, which are usually runs that are anywhere from two to four miles that vary in pace, but are usually uh, below his, you know, his accelerated pace. Then he has runs that are called stride runs where the pace varies, like he might run uh, a mile at a six minute pace and then run a mile at a 10 and a half minute pace. You see what I'm saying? And he just alternates back and forth until he hits his uh, right. in distance. And then his long runs, I think it's just get through it how you can get through it. I'm not sure what the strategy <laughs> The strategy is for that, for that face. Jordan said uh, don't die. Look, pretty <laughs> much. Cause I mean, anything over, like I said, when you start hitting the, the upper echelon, you start getting double digits, anything over 10, like 10 miles or plus, 10 miles plus, like your, your body, you gotta go to another place mentally mm -hmm. and your body has to be prepared. You have to be mentally prepared for that, right? That's the Iron, is the Iron Man challenge where they do the running, the swimming and the biking? Yes, yeah, uh, yeah. Let me be clear. That's a lot. Let me be clear. <laughs> I'm talking about, I, if there was like a life of death, people, you're, if I had to do that, you're going to die if that was on the line. Don't, don't, don't press me. Don't, don't press me on that. They be doing, it's just too, they got to do a marathon, they got to bike, and they got to, that's a lot. I could do the biking, right? The biking, the biking, I feel like I can get through, right? The biking's last, though. I know, that's why. <laughs> they I put that the first. I can do the, I can do the biking. I said, they have you swim at like 5 a.m. Listen. And then you got to run afterwards and you run, you, you. I'm going to be very good. Can you swim? <clears throat> Can I swim? No, yeah. no, I can't swim. I, I mean, I can swim, but who's swimming mi miles? Like, that's a, that's the thing. Michael Phelps like, would be swimming miles to my knowledge. I've seen him swim a lot. Yeah, but that's, he to might, me, I that's... I can't convert the meters to miles. I just yeah. think that's amazing to me that oh, a person can swim miles. The Iron Man Challenge, that's definitely the fittest of the... I mean, outside of, you know, uh, Gladiator Coliseum where you're fighting for your life, like, literally. <laughs> outside of that, man, look, that if you, if you, you know, people do marathons, you know, 13K, all that type of stuff, Iron Man Challenge is the... Tippy tip of the top, cause they be they're bo they they both like they entire body be breaking down. It's crazy. They don't they don't even really run. You know what they do? They run to their bike. Actually, no. Do they bike last? Whatever they do, like they travel like 
The well, swimming might, is definitely first because yeah, I think that's the, the yeah, that's the highest like, energy expenditure. Yeah, right? and they might yeah, and I think they might swim and then, then they run. come back go to the bike. I think maybe one of them's last. I can't remember. I just remember watching them weight training. They just be dying at the end. It'd be the same video every year we watch, and the guy's just like throwing up while he's riding the bike, and he's just not even throwing up. He just the water. He's not retaining it. Yeah. Like, you don't got enough electrolytes. Hey. <laughs> Shout out to them electrolytes. Stupid. You know, gotta, <laughs> gotta get the minerals in there. I gotta when I use stupid when it's, I do something good, because I don't have to smart. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Perfect. But yeah, he's uh you know just throwing up the water. Yeah. Oh no. No oh, no. Okay, yeah, but running the long distance. That was that, that tra is that a trauma response? Was that trauma <laughs> 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 I, So running ten miles. Oh, as you get to close to double digits. Yeah. The mindset. Because I, I wanna say uh, I think I looked at his entire tra training schedule. I thought I wanna say it gets all the way up to eighteen, but I, I have to I, the point I was trying to make is it never reaches twenty six until the actual race day, right? So to me, I I, I found that amazing from a I guess from a mental standpoint, right? If you can run 18 miles, you can run 26 miles, right? I, I think you just, your body has to be mentally prepared to endure the trauma, I guess you can say. I would say the same <laughs> the experience. thing in sports, like, because of the adrenaline in a game, you'll never be able to simulate that in practice. Right. So I, I can I can see I can see that from a body our, standpoint. Our practice is technically as long as the game. Well, technically, yeah, but your, your adrenaline isn't as high, so like as much energy as you're going to exert, like in a game, right? You can't simulate that in practice. Gotcha. You, you cannot simulate the last play of the Super Bowl in practice. Yeah. You can't. You can't. You, can, <laughs> <laughs> you can't do that. So uh, I can I can see that from just like a how your body like the energy you expend and how you just get through it. You just it, that's adrenaline. Yeah. You thought through it. You thought through it. That definitely makes sense. Okay. Uh, so bring it back. So running, we were just talking about running longer. So back to running faster, right? Running faster builds more lean muscle mass in your active muscles. So what does that mean? Um, and your muscles that are engaged when you're performing uh, this specific type of cardio, um, your, your muscles uh, tend to, to lean out, right? So if you're looking for, I think we talked about this when we were talking about the OPT model, the optimal performance training model, and we talked about the different levels. Uh, there's like uh, high, when you start getting to layer four and five, there's a difference uh, between build. Remember I told you there's that fork in the road and you can either go towards hypertrophy or maximal strength. And hypertrophy are the people you see like the um, like the lean muscular people. So like the Shantees, the uh, people who, who work out but aren't necessarily bodybuilders, but they're mm -hmm. cut. Does that make sense? Okay. They're still strong. You know what I'm saying? They can lift, they can do all that type of stuff. They're just not huge, right? And then the maximum performance people or the maximum power people are the are the bodybuilders, the people who okay. solely focus on, you know, having uh, mass, right, versus being all well. And I don't want to say what, not well-rounded because to become a, well, and I'm not a bodybuilder, but from what I've read from becoming to what you need to do to become a bodybuilder is you, you do actually have to perform cardio as well. Um, it's just a, the difference is uh, diet for sure. And then hypertrophy, you do more reps uh, at about 60 per 70 percent of your one rep max right but um so it's more reps at less weight you know what i mean okay. as opposed to maximum performance is more like six to eight reps at about 80 to 100 percent of your one rep max you know what i'm saying so it's more weight less reps okay tracking um so kind of goes back to the same thing with, with running right if you're running faster you're building up lean muscle which is more of a hypertrophy feat right so you're more agile you're made to quit like quick twitch right you know yeah, you, yeah, yeah. back bringing it back to sports right when you want to work on uh people aren't so all people aren't fast right some people are just have high agility right uh perfect example people usually play slot in football right your slot guy might not necessarily be the fastest person on the field but they usually catch the screen and they're good for 10 yards because they have good lateral movement right they're quick um same thing with running faster versus running longer right if you're building up if you're running faster, you have uh, more lean muscle mass, which means your your, your body um, is adjusted to have uh, more quick twitch muscles, right? So you're, you're made to move faster for shorter periods of time. Tracking? Cool. Um, so, of course, with that being true for running faster, running longer is more so the other side, right? So the maximum performance people, again, because they do need to burn calories, right? But they're just not trying to burn their or build. Much. Yeah, they're not trying to burn as much, and they're also not trying to build those uh, necessarily those lean muscles, muscles, right? So they might run longer at a slower pace, so they can also retain more mass too, uh, so they can max out their maximum performance. Uh, so those are two other effects that go towards, uh, or they go into running fast versus running longer. Mm -hmm. um, and I think I, I'm trying to make sure I covered everything on here. 
Oh, last not last but not least, uh, <laughs> this is an important one. Running faster heightens metabolism, right? So again, breaking down into that fork in the road. Remember, we we're talking about people who have lean mass, where we're trying to get that hypertrophy state. How they stay lean or skinnier is people who run faster for shorter distances have a heightened metabolism. Remember, we we're talking about you're burning through those calories faster, and that carries not over not just during the activity but post activity as mm -hmm. well. So remember, we were talking about uh, way back. I'm not sure exactly what episode it is. We were talking about active calories versus total calories. Yep. So uh, your active calories are the calories that are burned during the exercise. Total calories are all the functional, um, all the calories that are burned um, in the process of getting ready for the exercise, the exercise included, and post exercise. Right. Uh, the metabolism, if you're if you're allowing it to run, you know what I mean, after you've actually stopped. Um, metabolism continues to burn calories even after you've stopped moving. Right. right? So that is higher for people who run faster versus people who run longer, right? Because you haven't put your body in a, um, in a higher duress state when you're running longer, you know what I'm saying? Your, your metabolism isn't as, um, doesn't spike as much. Right, so, does that sort of relate to your heart rate then? Yes. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> so again, it goes back to, you know, burning those fats, uh, fat stores, burning, using those ATP stores, right? Uh, that is caused by expending more energy, by accelerating more, even if it's in a shorter distance. So the result of that is, hey, I need to replace those, right? And the replacement comes from your metabolism breaking down right. um, the necessary nutrients in your body to be able to replace those stores, all right? So the question was, is it better to run for longer distance or run for faster? The answer is it depends on the goal of the person, um, the person taking the action and the workout restrictions. If you are leaning towards a more hypertrophy build, you want to necessarily run faster because it'll help you burn calories, it'll help you heighten your lean muscle, as well as heighten your metabolism, right? But if you're a person who is trying to lean more towards maximum performance and you are and you have a little bit more time in your workout, right, you might want to run longer. Running longer helps you uh, train for races, um, retain more mass, right? Still build up that cardio or cardiovascular endurance, um, but at the same time allows you to keep your form, keep your mass, right? So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's define hypertrophy real quick. Oh, I, I don't know the last time that's been done. Gotcha. Hypertrophy is, is your is like, again, is a lean mass build, <clears throat> right? So it is uh, the crossroad between power and endurance, right? Uh, I feel like when people are looking at body types, uh, most people lean more towards a hypertrophy build, even if they don't know that's what they're looking at. That's usually... The most people's end result for for fitness, right? You, uh, especially as we get older, hypertrophy is also um, a result of more of like cross training, hit uh, those type of exercises, right? Because it's it's uh, it, fo it focuses on being strong, but being strong uh, being strong at all at facets of fitness. So you want to be strong in your cardio, being strong in functional strength training, which is really important as we get older because those are the the things that you use as you um, go throughout your day. So your lunges, your squats, right? Getting out of a chair is a squat. Uh, bending down to tie your shoe is a lunge. Picking up your child might be a squat and a lunge. You know what I mean? Squat, uh, uh, um, <laughs> a shoulder press and a lunge, depending on how you pick up your kid. You know what I'm saying? Uh, functional body movements, right? Things that you use throughout the day that you don't realize that you use, right? And I'm not saying that maximum performance uh, movements aren't used throughout <laughs> the day, but when is the last time you did an, an Olympic snatch? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. just, just out of necessity. You usually don't. That's usually more for sport, for competition, right? So hypertrophy, man. People are leaning more towards the hypertrophy build because that's what's necessary, I think, to maintain health and longevity. Yeah. I was going to say nothing. Run faster to catch all badass kids. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it do be like that, man. It's like... Why you being weird to me? I don't say nothing. You want to make sure you get that hypertrophy, man. <laughs> get that build. Yeah, some, 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 oh, no, no. You said what? You gonna talk about the two minutes? Look at this. Yes, I was not. <laughs> but since you brought it up. <laughs> hey, man. Well, I told you, I mean, it's talking about last night, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to find a way to get some type of, st this study's already been done. I obviously we looked up the data. But I'm like, I wanna do my own study. <laughs> I wanna do my own study, and I think. The number, I mean, there's only one more minute less than, I mean, than two minutes. I mean, you know, two minutes isn't that much time in increments, but I think it's a lot closer. To, mm -hmm. It's a lot closer than two minutes than y'all think. That's all I, that's all I know. People are starting to say it. Hey. Some people, 
from both sides, from both gender. Yeah, like, both yeah, male yeah, and yeah. female. That's yeah, the yeah, important yeah, part. Yeah. So we went the, the women, I got some women on the side. <laughs> when we start to reach a consensus across both sides, we we getting somewhere now. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Talking about heterosexual. I don't know what the rest of y'all be doing. I can't speak on that. <laughs> hey. But um I think uh as you creep up into double digits, some people are playing gonna be like, Well, one of y'all is doing it wrong. <laughs> I'm, that's the general consensus. We watched the video that said nine minutes. Yeah, she, 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 she said she, 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 she said nine minutes, nine, she. and that was with the, and that was a total package too. That we yeah, talked about everything. Nine. She said start. Yeah, she was yeah, talking yeah. about war, every everything. Yeah, the that, warm up, the, the climax, and the yeah. yeah, nine minutes. Yeah, we be talking about pure uh, vaginal intercourse. <laughs> it's two minutes. She said the whole shebang of bang nine minutes. She said no. She was taken though. She, <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Oh my goodness. Said nine minutes. He said and then and then the guy who was actually trying to rebuttal with twenty yeah, and she was like, like, No, I got stuff to do. And that's what I, I got stuff to do. That's sometimes a joke too. I gotta go to work. Right. Like I and not like go to work because we at home now, but like I have to go do something else. Right. Like, you know. Hey man. Yeah, you can't have the, the butt naked vacation sex. On a Tuesday, <laughs> unless you're on vacation on that Tuesday. After but dinner, like, yeah. b- before dinner. <laughs> like, no, I got stuff to do. You, you know, got stuff to do. You know when the bedtime is, okay, and you know what time it is right now. Just subtract, just just do that. <laughs> if the bedtime is in 10 minutes, I'm ready to go sleep. Hey. Oh, my goodness. Why you being weird to me? I don't say nothing. Yeah, see, some, some of y'all need to work on this. <laughs> You need to kill. <laughs> what did uh, Boosie say? Put you on IG Live and I give you a thousand dollars. <laughs> they had to kick him off after he said that. Yeah. So, you know, you can't say something he was like wilding. that. Oh, my I enjoyed goodness. it, but he was wilding. Look. Shout out to what, what did Tory Lanez have? Quarantine Radio. radio. Oh. Listen, Quarantine Radio was a. That should be in some of my history book somewhere. Yeah. That joint was live. I cannot wait until Literally. they document the last two years. 2020 and 2021 is going to be so interesting. Remember that they yeah. remember they attacked the Capitol at the beginning of last year. <laughs> that happened during the pandemic. That, that, yeah. 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 History. See, wow. And now I'll be thinking, like, what did we learn in history when I was like, damn, y'all did what? And maybe that's slavery. <laughs> like, maybe it's like, dang, y'all had us, our people chained up like this? <laughs> I feel like that's gonna be the closest thing. It's like, dang, during the pandemic, they created a whole terrorist act. Yes. Listen, <laughs> I was I was tuned into quarantine radio by, like weekly. I'm talking about phone on the, on the charge, <laughs> phone on the charger. I was watching quarantine radio like versus. Shout out to versus versus. versus happens, like, yeah, what, yeah, what? yeah, yeah, yeah. All yeah. that is battle rap though with music, pretty much. But, uh, yeah. Oh my yeah. goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Next section. You good? Yeah. Okay. On to the finance section. Let's get it. It'll be those first two. I'm about to say, I'm just going to ask you, what is this? So Corey always got some I'm terrible. I'm terrible. Point. Like, I'm terrible. He got one word and then a link. What am I supposed to do with That's not a question, sir. All right, hold on. Like, I got you. I got you. I'm going to do both these. I'm going to do both the articles. Okay, how about that? I'm about to break the recording. I don't know what control tab does. We the complete opposite. Y'all know I'd be taking bullets and notes and that Corey said, nah, you get this one word in this link. The only reason I have the link is when I paste it, it won't do the bullet. Okay. <laughs> That's the only reason the Google, you see that right there. You can read the article though. The okay. Title. The so okay, the title is the Google Google Parent Alphabet announces a twenty for one stock split. Ooh, I'm ready for this one. All right. I'm gonna read it again. Google parent alphabet so for people who don't know well i'm gonna let Corey cover that google's parent parent company that's what they're referring to that's alphabet type. announces 20 for one stock so split. you might as well tell them what that means if you're gonna keep nah 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 because they you know i don't know if people know okay so google isn't owned by google's alphabet it's owned by alphabet all right they restructure the same way facebook did meta by the way that's what we're touching on next we're gonna do the facebook situation this your, as this well. your section i'm quiet no, I'm just saying it's the, next, it's the next one. We're going to do them both in this in this episode. All right. But um, put it like this. Shout out. To, I always talk about Mount Rushmore, like a new one. Gary Vee's on it. Unless 
four people will find a way to cure all the cancers and like HIV and STDs, Gary V is on the Mount Rushmore. He's top, he's top four all time in the last 20, 30 years. Because them internet timestamps, they are coming through right now. When yeah, he's we, lit too. When we get to the next episode, that, that last bullet point, I already talked about this. I already, I already, I already said it. Now we are getting to the point where we've literally already discussed the information and now it's just like, I've already told y'all this. But, well, I did to investment episode 13. So yeah, the Google, or, let me do the parent alphabet. So yes, Alphabet is the parent company, right, of Google, just like Nike is of Jordan or Meta is now of Facebook. That's what Jordan kept saying. That's all that means. It's completely irrelevant to anything you have to do with your life. It's just who who is in charge and when actually not irrelevant. I just completely I was about to say, lie. it's very irrelevant. Like, <laughs> what? When I say it's irrelevant in the sense of it is what it is, but when you're looking at who owns what, something like Dawn or like Tide and Cheer, they're owned by Procter and Gamble. Mm -hmm. So. But you get coupons. You get coupons for yeah. Procter & Gamble. You don't get coupons for the product. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So it all depends on what they have listed on the exchange. When you go to, if you want to invest in Alphabet, it will be Google. Okay. The ticker tickers are made up because they're um, unique. So if somebody already got theirs taken, then they might have something wild that's completely unrelated to the letters <laughs> in their name. But Google does um, have, theirs is G-O-O-G and G-O-O-G-L. I don't know which one goes to which for Class A and Class C. Speaking of class A and class C, class A means that you get uh, one vote per share. Class C means you get no votes. So Google has a class A and a class C. Class A is normally traded lower, I think, than class C. I could be, I mean, it's either or. But then uh, they also have a class B, which is for like the owners and like board of directors or something, you know, people like that. That's, that's private. They get 10 votes uh, per share that they have. So the stocks, what I was saying that because Google does have the class A and class C. If you're seeing that stock, how they have two different ones, the stock split is occurring for, for both, for all, all three class A, B, and C. But as far as the publicly traded ones, it is class A and class C. So if you got some Google stock, you're good to go as far as the stock split. As of now, the stock split is the cutoff date is July 1st. That can't, that's not like uh, fixed. It is subject to change, but it's as of July 1st. And I think it's supposed to happen on July 15th through the 19th, you know, they gotta, it takes a while for I mean, all these, <laughs> all these shares to get updated, you know. Fidelity, Vanguard, Robin, you know, they got, it's a lot of places. There's a lot of stuff that has to be updated, but the cutoff date as of now is July 1st. Again, that's subject to change. Um, so stock split, okay, we've talked about this before. I don't know how, I think we've gone, we've discussed it. Way, we know what it means. Yeah, bit. so a stock split, who did it? I think we're talking about the Apple one. Yeah. But anyway, a stock split, essentially, so a 24 month stock split, what does that mean? That means for every share, I would say for every share in the sense of it's not, even if, if you own half a share, you still get part of the stock split. So however many total shares but you it, have. It'd be the ratio corresponding to the 20 to one, right? Right, yeah, you're, so how many shares you have, that number gets multiplied by 20. So if you have half a share, right, half of times 20 is 10. So you right. have 10 shares when the stock split um, occurs. So every share you have, you get 20, 20 stocks. And what people actually care about. 20 is, shares, I got you. Yeah, 20 shares. Yeah, whatever the whatever it is. But what people actually care about is that the share price for one share gets divided by whatever that first number is. So a 20 to one stock split, say the share price is $100. When they do a 20 to one stock split, the share price will now be $5. Yes, $100 20 is five. It'll now be five dollars. So that's the, so how the math stays the same, right? You get twenty more shares, but your the price of your shares <clears throat> gets divided by twenty. So the math is still the same as far as how much you actually have um, invested in total. Okay. So how does that benefit you? Well, if you don't use fractional share investing platforms, because stocks are completely relevant for people who use fractional share investing platforms, mm -hmm. you will be able to. Um, it'll be a lower barrier entry again. This is July. It's freaking February. You know, don't try to predict, but you know, I would assume Google's gonna be higher five months from now. That's five months yet. It'll be a little under five months from now. I'm pretty sure Google will be over three thousand dollars. They're trading right under like twenty somewhere in twenty nine hundreds right now, I believe. So I'm pretty sure Google's gonna be over three thousand dollars. If you're someone, right, people, you all do options, so if you're doing a put, right, but if you're someone who thinks that Google is gonna be less than whatever's trading around now, so if you think it's gonna essentially be below three thousand dollars, you should not purchase Google right now you should wait till they do the stock split because it'll be cheaper for you then right if it goes up then you want to get in now because you'll have more shares but if it goes down you'll have more shares as far as a dollar dollar ratio 
because it'll be even cheaper than what it is now. Okay, if it's $100 now, but then it'll be $50, no, not $50, it'll be $80, right, in July, then it'll be $4 a share versus five, it was trading at 100. Okay, so you have, you have, you put $100 in, you get more shares if it's at four than $5. Okay, also too, about stock splits, I talk about the fractional share investing. If you're doing your dollar cost averaging, all that type of stuff, this is completely irrelevant. It does not matter. You're just buying in and you're gonna look and see. I, look, if you, <laughs> let, here's the one, we talked about this yesterday. Yeah. Uh, were, you, were you on, we were talking about this? Yeah, timing. Yeah, not yep. timing the market as far as how if you do fractional share investing, stock splits are irrelevant. Hmm. They don't, they don't. You, Elaborate. Mm -hmm. Well, cause, okay, so if Google is $3,000, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and you're, you're, say your dollar cost averaging $100, it does nothing, nothing. You're still putting in a hundred dollars from a compound interest, all that type of stuff. Right. That you, you don't you don't lose anything. Now you lose the not lose, you can gain the votes per share. But like we were talking about, I don't I don't vote on any of it. I don't vote on <laughs> I got Nike. You don't attend the meetings. Yeah, I, I don't know. I got, they they sent they sent, I do get the invites. I just thought like, <laughs> you will get they send me the information. I'm a be I can be on that Nike's call. I mean that Nike call, that Microsoft that Apple call, NVIDIA AMD. I can be on them calls. Yeah. I don't be there. So if you don't, if you, you know, realistically, if you don't attend the meetings that you have access to because you are a shareholder, you are owner in the company, that's what it is when you invest, you do have equity. If you don't attend the meetings, you don't vote, then, and you do fractional share investing, you're not getting any benefit at all. <laughs> it's, it's not getting any benefit. You'll have more shares. And so that puts you in a position, this is the benefit, contradicting myself, that puts you in a position when it comes to liquidating. Now you have more shares to leverage in a mm -hmm. sense of, now you don't have 10 shares to sell, you have 200, gotcha. right? So you can make use of that. But from a dollar amount standpoint, you know, if you're, when stock splits occur, the valuation of your particular stock, that doesn't change. It does, obviously, the market is still live. Right. But it's not like, you're, you're, you're if you got $1,000 in Google, it's not about to go to 20 yeah. times. It's not about to, that, that's yeah. not about to happen, right? Just, just the math changes a little bit on how things are set up. But yeah, if you essentially do dollar cost averaging into Google, because you can't buy a full share at three thousand dollars, all this is going to do is make it so you're getting more shares because the share price is lower. But at the end of the day, you're investing a hundred dollars every month into Google. That's the same thing, regardless of what the share price does. Now, the theory, I think, you know, in the last you know, 10, 20 years ago, is that there were probably less fractional share investing options. So these stock splits were a big deal right. because people were only able to buy sh full shares. Gotcha. Now, now people. The only platform I know of that doesn't do fractional share investing now, the big ones, is Vanguard. I'm pretty sure everyone else does fractional share investing. So <laughs> if you, you can get in when you want to get in, and people are taking advantage of the ETFs um, as well now. So if you want to, if you do Robinhood, which most of y'all do, or Webull, and One Finance, you got fractional share investing. This does not impact you at all. You, you still put your money into Google if you're buying Google because you, you're already doing it. It's going to drop down to. That's that too. They doing. T it's crazy how the math works. Three thousand out about twenty is one fifty. Let me make sure, but I'm pretty sure it is. Three thousand divided by twenty. Yeah. Yeah. See, Google be under two hundred dollars a share. I, uh, you know, that's just gonna be wild to see. Right. That Google's you know that, that low. Like when Apple did it, they were just at four hundred to four to one split like that. Right. Yeah, it was still a hundred dollars. But Google's in the thousands. So now. Jeff Bezos, Amazon board directors. We waiting on y'all. Y'all, you're up next. And guess what? Google has set the tone. We expect about a 20 to 1. <laughs> now I'm getting my, you know, I'm getting my internet timestamp out now. Because when Amazon do theirs. Yeah, we got to snatch them up. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you can do the fraction share investing too. Like I said, it doesn't matter. But, you know, just when you, the nap, this mental makeup, second thing I recommend. But you know, that's, what they're, that's what the benefit of the stock splits are. You have just the natural mindset of seeing something that's three thousand dollars, and so people don't, yeah, and don't put money into it. It's like, oh, one fifty, I can do that. And it's like, bro, if you just put one, whether you put one fifty in today right. or tomorrow, it's the same based off of how it grows. Right. That's how, <laughs> it's not worth anymore. So, um, yeah, Amazon, you're up next, Jeff. We're we're looking. At, I know you stepped down, but I know you still got majority ownership. We're looking. We're waiting on y'all. Y'all have yet to do a stock split. Google's done a stock split before. Amazon, you ain't done one yet. We would we would prefer that y'all 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 get on it. Okay, all right. You have anything for that? Let me read this article. Hey, I'm good either way. I got I got the Amazon and the Google. Yeah, the Amazon. <laughs> hey, hey man, if y'all don't get y'all some Vue and some VTI and go about your day, 
Hey, you'd be fine. Let me see. Yep, so it's split the class A and class B and class C, as I said. Yes, yeah, like I said, the cutoff date is July 1st. And then, like I said, it says each shareholder at the close of business on July 1st. So for those of you who do dividends, you know, there's a, um, a cutoff date that you're the qualifier for that particular dividend that's going to be released that quarter. There, so there's a cutoff date of July 1st as of now. And then you'll receive on July 15th. Yeah, not, so it's even July 15th, 19 additional shares, right? So, I mean, you know, you keep the one you have. and then, right. right. If you have one share and they give you 20, you got 19 more shares. I hope everyone understands that little math right there. Now, so let's be clear. None of this means anything to anybody who don't have money to invest. So we got to get y'all there. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. It's episode 37. Hey, look, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Some of y'all getting excited talking about, yeah, I'm about to spend the rent money on Google and Alphabet. Absolutely not. All right? Okay? I do not recommend you do that. No. <laughs> We didn't. We didn't do our legal legal disclaimer. We did, a, we did a legal disclaimer, but not a legal legal one. Right. Okay. Let me see. 2012. Oh, so okay. Maybe they didn't really do a stock split. They're considering the Class C when they came out with that as a stock split. I don't know. I wasn't really invested in this. Yeah. No voting rights for Class C. Yep. And then let me see. Paige and Brim. We don't care about y'all. They got 12 percent of the Class C. Jesus Christ. They own everything. <laughs> Google stock Class A and C are so big. They're like. They're like both in the top 10. <laughs> they're, they're both worth a lot. Yeah, they said, yeah, shares of Google come expensive. Yeah, 2750. Yeah, doubling in price. Yeah, yeah, so they're, they're, they're saying the current map, yeah. So if it were to split at the time of this article, which is, which was February 1st, it was at 2752. And they're like, yeah, it'd be a double. <laughs> <laughs> that don't even sound right. I just said, you know, two, three thousand out of my twenties, one fifty. <laughs> Did you know it's one fifty? <laughs> okay, yep. So that's it for that. The Google one again, stock split. It can change the date, but that's set up for July first. So if you want to get in on this Google stock split, you'll need to buy in before July first. Again, that's if you believe the share price of Google when you're going to buy it is going to be higher than what it will be on July 1st. If you think it's gonna be lower than what it is whenever you plan on buying it, you should wait until the stock split occurs. I could be wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure that's how the math works. I didn't do any research. That's just, you know, if it's 2,000 instead of the stock split, then it'll be $100. First, you buy them, it's at 3,000, so yours is 150. That's called a cost basis. I know that's right. Okay, I'm just, you know, now I'm just rambling about the things I know in my head. All right, next thing. <laughs> This for me? Yeah, this for you. Okay. Facebook stock plummets 26% in its biggest one-day drop ever. Now, I know nothing about this. We were discussing. I knew the drop happened, but I thought, it drop, I thought the drop happened for something completely different, and I was wrong. So, tell yeah. us about this, Corey. What we yeah. got? Yeah, so earlier, I mean, the the it's, we had a pullback beginning of this year. You know, people always say it's, the economy's going to crash, so when it does, you know, they're right that one time. So, we had a pullback beginning of this year. A lot of stuff went down 10 20%. But then that was in January, so obviously February now. So <clears throat> it should all be done. Facebook was up, Oculus at the or Meta now, Meta platforms, which is still FB for the uh, ticker, was up towards the end of the year. Definitely Oculus, you know, Jordan now in that hey. for the VR. But um, as of the last week or so, today's February 6th, and this article is uh, dated for February 3rd. As Jordan said, the stock did plummet 26% in one day, okay? It came out that um, Facebook had less users on their platform. And on top of that, for those of you who have iPhones, I think you know now you, you seem to have more uh, consent privileges. They are, it's not, they're not edit privileges. You have more consent privileges just on your overall general tracking of you and things like that. As what episode? That's this is way, that episode was a long time ago. We talked about the cookie. This is way, way. Yeah. Ago. You, might, you might have been in an apartment still. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. We we coming up on a year, yeah. but um, you know about how the cookies and all that stuff is being tracked. Essentially, Microsoft made it so you can. So hold on, quick, okay. quick cyber review. So people okay. don't know what cookies are. Cookies are small uh, segments of data, usually relevant to the user using that device, right? Mm -hmm. So. Uh, things relevant to things that you might have searched before, name, birth date, uh, any just just data relevant to you or what you view, right? Yeah. Are usually stored in cookies, and nine times out of ten, so when you visit a website, people it'll ask you whether you want to accept or decline uh, the ability for the website to read your cookies, right? And usually that is uh, the case because they want to uh, show you advertisements relevant to things that would actually uh, 
resonate with you, right? Mm -hmm. So perfect example, if I have a dog and I've been looking up dog treats all day, um, that's in my cookie somewhere and I share my cookie data with the next website I go to, like more than likely I'm going to see an advertisement for some type of dog treat or dog toy or dog related activity. Or a leash. Yes. <laughs> Some type of training, exactly. or maybe you might see some duck hunting stuff. Yeah, you need, it's you know animal, right? Like got, it, it's a lot. It's a lot in these algorithms. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a lot in there. Point being, it'll stem from the cookies, right? So it'll right. start from whatever that you know that data is, and just kind of spin out from there. Sorry. Yeah, no, you're good. No, right. and in short, um, Apple, for you know people use um, iPhones, iOS devices, they essentially made it harder, or you be able to give more consent for that information to be given to these companies. And as you guys know, Facebook largest you know social media one crazy with the ads essentially wow yeah so facebook literally says the company blamed privacy changes to apple's ios which is their um iphone um operating system to uh and macro challenges weighing on advertiser budgets and reason for them having um lower than expected revenue growth in the upcoming quarter okay is it other social media stock in all honesty let me just let me just not uh, this is not an opinion. Social media sucks to suck. Let me be very clear. <laughs> they all suck. Um, <laughs> Facebook is the only one. <laughs> yeah. Facebook is the only ones that can. I would. I, I've been. Don't get into Snap. I said that. Don't get into Twitter. I might be this crow, but like you know, Twitter, Snapchat. There's no Instagram. It's under Facebook, which is meta. Let me think. I mean, Pinterest. Was Pinterest even public? I'm trying to think about all the different platforms. Vine went away. Uh -huh. You can consider YouTube as social media, but Google has, does so much other stuff. But um, you know, the major flagship ones, TikTok's not even public. Tick tick. TikTok. Tick, tick. <laughs> I don't know that one. Look at it. <laughs> Do we have a bomb on here? Yeah. Uh, tick tick, where's the new guy? Tactical nuke incoming! Oh, wow, that's tick tick. But yeah, TikTok. <clears throat> Man, that's on by China though, so completely different but you know if you go look up the social media stocks and let me let me know how well they've been performing yeah i'm like any of them other than facebook are uh, are over a hundred dollars right i can't verify the share price but I, I would agree with you they probably aren't but yeah. yes let me put this way i have some snap but i know for a fact that's not over no, 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 no. snap is i put that in the same boat as robin Hood. good luck yeah the Sna snapchat, snapchat wasn't some, original i mean i got some when they originally ipo i just been letting it sit there yeah so. yeah but when snapchat when facebook Took well, Instagram took Vine stuff with the videos. You knew they was coming for Snapchat story. <laughs> YouTube got the story. YouTube has stories now, and they have the TikTok short. They call them shorts on YouTube, but they have the you know yeah. quick little videos. It's like y'all got to invent something new, which social media can't do, which is why the, the stocks are performing well because they don't have nothing unique can, in the market. Can they not protect that stuff? That's what I'm curious about. Like, How are you going to protect being able to replay a video over again? Nah, just the format in which it's presented because I feel like, I really feel like Snapchat came out with its its story format, right? And then what was you remember you saw it on Instagram and then it went to, I don't, I mean, I don't, listen, I don't know enough about patent it to suggest what it should fall under well, and they, how they can do it, but I'm just saying they I feel can. like that's a form of property, right? I feel like, you know what I mean? If I, if I produce the ability to, to show a a 30 second video in this specific way i feel like nobody else should be able to do it that way right nobody no. else, let me put it this way nobody <laughs> else has stories before snapchat has stories that's what they named it that's what i'm saying they, they, they a name is a name I, all, all they did was make it so that what you can do you can i don't know who did this first but all it is is microsoft uh powerpoint right all it is is a video or it, it's a it's or a still a photo, image yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a picture or a motion picture. Video zone is called a motion picture. Right. It's a video, it's a picture or a motion picture. And then after the next slide, like Microsoft PowerPoint, is either a video or a motion picture. And you can go back and forth in between. They, I mean, they, they can't own the ability to message. I mean, like, it's, it's not unique. I'm saying, it's, <laughs> how are you going to go to court and say you own videos and pictures? That's the, um, who is that? It's some, general, it's like yeah, general. Yeah, it's called, they, it was talking about, like, with the axle. I think four was having some issue where, like, the car and it's like bro you can't own an axle because then can nobody ever make a car but you like there's some there are some things where it's like nah this is so he, you might have did it first but it's such a need towards it like nah you can't you can't own Man. it to where nobody else can do it but yeah but in reference to stocks and stuff it's like what what do they have on the market uh, that that's what that's why you know people do what they want to do tell they in telecommunications though telecommunications literally just gets carried by google and netflix it was facebook but as I'm going through this article, but I know they dropped 26 percent. Okay, so again, uh, yeah, but down it was down 26 percent as uh, let me see this. That would have been February 2nd, so that would have been uh, I think Tuesday or Wednesday. 
it was down 26%. They always be talking about how Mark Zuckerberg's net worth dropped. Man, he don't care. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so the company, they're forecasted, they forecasted weaker than expected revenue growth in the next quarter, okay? It also said it's taken a big hit from Apple's privacy changes and showed the first quarterly decline in daily active users on record, okay? And I don't know if this is just, because this isn't, it's meta now, right? So I don't know if it's the same Facebook users and Instagram users, right? Because meta owns them both. Right. Or if this is just the Facebook users as far as the Facebook application. I'm not sure which one that is. Yeah, biggest drop ever. Yeah, it's at 90%. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yep, okay, they missed earnings in the last report for the fourth quarter. They're supposed to be at 3.84, and was predicted, and they did 3.67. Also, too, when they say they missed earnings, well, earnings are missed when professional analysts say, hey, this is what we expect y'all to do. It's not what Facebook said they was going to do. <laughs> <laughs> so people who don't work for Meta say, hey, y'all supposed to do this. <laughs> and then if they don't do it, then, then it counts as missing the Someone earnings. external to the company yeah. said you're supposed to do X, Y, and Z. It's sort of like the Hall of Fame. Nobody play the sport who determines who gets in the Hall of Fame. So it's like, yeah. So, so we think some of y'all should get in that's not in right now. I said it beat his revenue for the quarter, right? But like I said, their projected revenue has decreased, okay? So now we're talking about the emotional aspect when it comes to the market. I think they lost 100, 100, um, not 100, is it 100 billion? Does that sound right? Then they lost 100 billion when it comes to the metaverse. Is that on here? Because y'all know they've been doing that metaverse work. It was 100 million. No, it's not on this article. I failed y'all. My apologies. They lost a whole bunch of money in the metaverse. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> With all that. Not in the metaverse. Right there. The segment lost $10 billion last year, and those losses are growing its bets on the metaverse. No? Oh, yeah. There we go. Gotcha. $10 billion. Okay, not $100 billion. Okay, yeah. So, yeah. Jordan said they lost $10 billion last year, and those losses are there. They're growing as a bets on the metaverse. So, and as, I mean, they changed their name to Meta, right? That's been their main shift. So, not only are your users growing on your current foundation, right? Not only are you saying they're macroeconomics, macroeconomics is large, economics, micro is small. Not only are you saying they're macroeconomic issues, not only are you saying that the cell phone device that most of your users use are creating security restrictions that are impacting your revenue, which mm -hmm. you have no control over because it's freaking Apple. Oh, by the way, Facebook, not Apple. Right. right. I and mean, look, you just, two different companies. Say, you're not, no, I'm talking about you know, measuring cons. Facebook is Facebook, you know, meta is meta. Right. Apple is Apple. I call this the Hall of Fame of the Hall of Fame. It's like being considered top 10, and then it's like being considered number one. All right, that's just two different things. You and it's, all right, Larry Bird, great. We don't talk about him being the best player ever. All right, that's two, I'm just saying. That's true. Okay, so I, I call that the Hall of Fame and Hall of Fame. You in the top 10, but we don't talk about you being number one. Shout out to Drew Brees. Yeah, we, we don't consider you as the number one. So you up here, you get to sit at the table, but we don't ever put you first. I'm just, you know, it's like, who's that's so rude. <laughs> it's true, but it's so rude. This is called priorities. Hey. It's very key to be able to understand what I just said. Like, face, Facebook, a big dog, I ain't touching no Apple. You got to be Microsoft or Google, or Google probably. I mean, ooh. yeah. Have, have y'all seen it? Apple, the biggest company in the world. So, unless you Microsoft whoever took them for a little bit, I think they battled, you know. Back it's and like, forth. It's like right. three trillion. So I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't keep counting up there. A lot of money versus high. a lot more money. Yeah, <laughs> but it's like, you know, it's like uh, with Apple and Samsung. Like, Samsung's worth like 500 billion. Apple got 200 billion in cash. Don't talk about no damn phones. They, they not, they, you know, they not really, it's different. We're talking about stocks now. So, yeah. So now, as I said, Google, you should get into Google, Facebook. I don't know. I recommend you buy Apple and Microsoft then if you want to buy more buy more when it comes to facebook stocks some people do have projections that i mean TikTok is doing what it's doing i think TikTok is the is the new is for the, the zennials the ones you know late late high school early college right now i think that what is it called zennials oh. they call zennials it's a generation it's z. young folk so let me start. yeah we're, we're generation y the generation z i think it's 98 and after gotcha it's definitely 2000 that's the new, new millennium but um yeah that is their app TikTok is what they use. So you're talking about projections, right? Who's going to be, you know, continuing as the generation goes on. It looks like TikTok is going to be it. But also, MySpace was our first app. Listen. Let's be clear. Hey. So, technically, Facebook was our second one. So, is, is it 
you know, what's going to be what. I always felt like we grad when you migrated over to Facebook is when you got older, right? Yeah, like, like, like old people have. Now it's like, man, now it's, now it's the what now. Yeah. <laughs> All the social media is why. Because the uh, old, older people on TikTok, too. I mean, that's how social media works. Everyone's on it now. As far as, oh, we should be by Facebook. You should be getting to Google. I don't know what Facebook, okay? I don't I don't know what Facebook. The issue is they, or should I say meta, right? Because it works the same meta. They, ha they have made a huge pivot and the pivot they went to, they've lost billions of dollars already since they've at least you know publicly made the commitment um, as far as our eyes. I obviously don't know what's going on behind closed doors. I think, you know, obviously do your research, but I think uh, there are plenty of other options that you can get into. I think, what is it trading in there? It's at 237. I saw somewhere some people said it's gonna go down at 150. Mm. Nah, if it goes down to one face, somebody had to some, 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 <laughs> something went wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Without a stock, you know what I mean? Like if it if it goes down to one fifty from one two thirty seven, and it was at what's this all time high? Two forty two. Nah, two forty two is not the all time high. Three eighty four. So the three eighty four was the all time high, y'all. So it's at two thirty seven now. If it goes, so that's that's one hundred percent. That's over one hundred percent drop in price it's from the all, from the fifty two week high. No, 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 no. I think um, what always happens when earnings and they do these predictions, as we're I'm wrapping up, they don't go well. Usually the stock tanks. They don't usually tank 26%. <laughs> Let me say that. But usually the stocks goes down whenever anybody, you know, they have the earnings calls or anything like that. They say something wild that people don't like. The stock goes down. The issue is, and I always say, it's like, if Facebook goes away, then what? I mean, like, it, who, who's really, like, you know, wh wh who's going to replace? What I would do if I was Google is I would make YouTube a full-blown, because can't nobody nobody has the video, nobody's going to, you know, embark on the video situation that Google has with all that data with YouTube, with all the videos. They start making it a social media thing. What I need, what do I need to go anything else for? That's true. <laughs> YouTube has, they already got all the videos. So if I just had a way to interact, because they already got them shorts, like if they just put a time, yeah. they already got a little timeline feature too. If you use it on your phone, depending on who you follow, your um, yeah. YouTubers, they can so, show you when they posted what. Yeah. And, yeah. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody put them on the video game. That you talking about sort of monopoly. So I said you got to watch that earlier. But you, YouTube got a lock on the videos. Who? What's the other video website? What's what's the other uh, video um, website? What's the other one? Uh, Vimeo is it Vimeo? That they have like YouTube type stuff. I had to look. I know you can you, to post. You can post videos on Vimeo. <laughs> Ain't nobody messing with YouTube. Yeah. Anyways, I, yeah. I mean, the fact that you didn't know what I was talking about. Was, <laughs> I thought you were gonna say Venmo. I was like, no, nah, that's how you get money. Nah, V I M E. Uh, I think I've seen that before. But yeah. all right, to wrap up, Google. Yeah, stock split. If you think it's gonna get lower, then wait. But no, Google's gonna be. Google's not going anywhere. Google, YouTube, Alphabet. They good to go. Facebook. I don't know because MySpace went away. Right, we see what happened to Vine. It's nothing for any of these companies just to flip like that if they replace somebody. Okay, always remember that. Obviously, do your research. This is not investment advice, not professional. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, we been running out of bullets. <laughs> right, this is the second or third time we done ran out of ammo. They said, look, we can cock that thing, but you got to shoot it, all right? Fitness recap. Fitness recap. Is it better to run for a longer distance or run faster? The answer is it depends on the goal of the person uh, gauging in the cardio as well as the workout restrictions. We got to close these blinds. Oh, yeah, uh, we're doing it the next episode. You're all good. We, <laughs> yeah, we almost got it. Like, this sign getting brighter yeah. and brighter. Yeah, we, for those watching this on YouTube, you man, these lines that went from my neck to my nose yeah. to my forehead. All right? Yeah. Anyway. That's why I was getting a little distracted. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it's like, uh, what's a um, TN? What's his move? Oh, solar, uh, flare. solar flare. Yeah, 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 you can't do, you can't see nothing. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's, it depends on the goal of the person engaging in the cardio as well as the workout restrictions. Running faster burns more calories. Depletes fat by depleting fat stores and energy stores at a quicker rate. It also builds more lean muscle mass and inactive muscles, and it heightens metabolism. Running longer builds stamina and endurance. For at a low pace, low heart rate um, is good for performance goals such as running races, marathons, etc. Um, and it can burn more calories over time, or sorry, it can it can burn more calories if time is not a factor in your workout restrictions. All right, cool. cool. Finance recap again: Google twenty to one stock split. That means for every share that you own, 
they're gonna get multiply that by 20, okay? That stock split is set for July 1st. As of now, as far as the cutoff date, then the actual stock split will occur on July 15th. I said July 15th and 19th. That 19 was you'll get 19 more shares per one share you have. So the stock split cutoff date is July 1st as of now, then the stocks work that you in your, in your account will be updated on July 1st per your brokerage. That's when it's supposed to occur. I don't work for these places. You, <laughs> I don't. Okay, should you get in that or not? If you think that, you know, Google is trading around 3,000 or so right now, if you think that it's going to be higher when we get to July for the stock split, then yeah, you should buy now because you'll have more shares. That's better bang for your buck. If you think it's to be lower, then you should wait till the stock split occurs. Again, Google does have Class A and Class C. Both of these will, um, both of these will have the 20 to one stock split. So whichever one you own, G-O-O-G or G-O-O-G-L for the ticker, you get um you get the stock split as long as you're in by July 1st. As far as um, Facebook, that 26% drop, what's going on, Meta losing billions of dollars, Metaverse, et cetera, et cetera. I don't know, do your research. I'm not bullish on Facebook. I just think, you know, what's going to replace, I mean, it is what it is, it's the biggest social media platform. I, TikTok has, I think, shown it is has the biggest shot at knocking it off, right? But then again, Instagram actually had the biggest shot. Then they bought Instagram. Right. Okay. Twitter showed up and then Instagram showed up during the Twitter then during the Twitter Facebook beef and then Vine showed up too. So it was, you know, it's sort of like how you manage it. But now it's just Twitter just is gonna be in third place and we're trying to figure out if we're trying to be in second or first with Facebook and whoever. That's where it's at. Snapchat showed up, no one of them, you know. Pinterest got rid of the sexually explicit content. You know what I mean? I'm just I'm just trying to keep it keep it real. Okay, and YouTube isn't really considered a social media platform. Is Tumblr even anywhere? Oh yeah, Tumblr too. They, they stopped. Yeah. Was it Pinterest or Tumblr that stopped the uh, sex? I, they, think, I know Tumblr did it oh, for sure. Yeah. Let's be clear. If you use Twitter, what's really? Look. If you use Reddit, you, yeah. Instagram. All right. Anyways, <sighs> so do your research. If Facebook screws you, that's not on me. Okay, is it in my portfolio? Not as a single stock. It's on a watch list, but it's on the bottom of the watch list because it is still you know Facebook. The metaverse is still brand new, okay? I don't think, well, Facebook makes React, and that's what I used to make a living. So, <laughs> they got some good code. <laughs> yeah, I, can't, I can't, I was about to say, what, does Facebook do tech stuff? Yeah, that's how I got, that's how I get paid right now. But, <laughs> shout out to React.js. But, um, so it'll be interesting. I think the general competition in the social media sphere, as we've all seen, is just very volatile. Anybody can show up, because we just all decide what we want to be on. And that's what makes it number one versus whether or not it's better or not better. So it'll be interesting. Do your research. Be wise with it. It's at $237.09 as of February 6, 2022, which is a Sunday. If we come back during the Google stock split and it's under $200, I don't know what y'all want me to say. You good? Yes, sir. All right. Jordan. Before, before, before we get into that, oh, you need to like these videos. Like, did you say that in the beginning? No, we're slacking. Like, share, subscribe, comment on these videos, okay? Please, please, please. Jerks. All right, you yes. Need to watch this video on YouTube. You need to follow, follow, follow us at Coordinated Full Effect on Coordinated YouTube. Full Effect. Subscribe. You can't yeah, follow. I'm anymore. sorry. Subscribe. subscribe. I apologize. Wrong yeah. wording. And then on our for our podcast on all the different platforms, we are on Google Podcasts. We're on Apple Podcasts. We're on Spotify. We're on Amazon Audible. Yes. We're on Anchor. All of that. We're on a lot of stuff. All that. All right. Okay. Coordinate Full Effect Podcast. Hit them stars, jerks. Mm. Rate review. Stupid. Hit them jo That's almost, we're going to name you all that, the stupidies. Actually, no, I call <laughs> you all the what? The brokies in the front. Look, I'm joking. We don't want y'all to be broke. Those are people, those are our haters. The haters are the brokies. In the front. <laughs> look, we love y'all, whatever Corey said. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we I, love I was thinking, no, look, keep, keep coming back. Jordan, keep you keep sitting here co signing my stuff. Look, my I just laugh. I don't agree. <laughs> Let's be clear. <laughs> If you don't say anything, your silence uh, is complacent. Am I complicit? Yeah. Like, is that bad? Oh, like, uh, um, yeah. All right, Corey. So, yeah, we wait, no. Yeah. Oh, uh, and if people want to follow you, where can they, they find you? They want to follow me. I was going to do you first. Oh, 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 I'm oh. stuck. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't say less. No, do not say less. <laughs> the lies. There you the go. Lies. The lies. The lies. Why you being weird to me? Anyway. That's bullshit. Don't try to trip me up. Anyway, sideline underscore Corey on Twitter. Instagram and then when I talked about TikTok, remember I said that my is the links there or not? They're not there. The YouTube is there. 
TikTok doesn't let me do the link tree stuff. So this the, uh, is, uh, the YouTube is there. And I think Instagram is there too. Okay, okay. Oh, wait, Jordan. Yeah. What, what about you? Uh, you can follow me at Stop Stalling J. That's S T O P S T A L L I N G J A Y on everything. Everything. What about, wait, the business page? Business page is finally fit 06. That's F I N A L L F I T 06 on IG, YouTube, Facebook, and Corey. Yes. If I need some assistance with my budget, man, I'm just trying to get my money right so I can save my money up for the stock split coming in July. How can I do that? I don't know. Yeah, Cause y'all be broke. It's like, no, I'm broke. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, what's it called? Um, yeah. Like I said, the link tree, Twitter and Instagram is on there, right? Pricing $20 an hour, $50 for a month, $50. Lock you into that price. You get one, one hour meeting a week up to that many. You don't have to use all of them up to your choice, right? What you want to do with yourself. But yep. Very low prices. You better get in now because they go up. I don't want to hear nothing from nobody. Some of you, if y'all have reached out and you haven't capitalized on your opportunity, I don't care because I'm ruthless on the business stuff. Look, give Corey some money so he can help get you some money. Yeah, y'all gonna have so much money. I'm gonna be happy. <laughs> I'm very selfish with it. I love to see the success. I mean, look, put it like this. A lot of my clients getting their goals checked off. Not even talking about Jordan and his wife. I'm talking about other people. So y'all, you know. Dang, he just talked about us like we passed tense, like we didn't hit our goals and he don't even want to talk about us no more. Rude. Anyways. I can't even see my face. No, I know. The damn, the damn sun. <laughs> but I'm making sunny. a face. The sun is a, is a guest on the show today in full effect. All right. Yeah, the sun's in full effect. Yeah, we got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jordan and his wife are doing well. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's it. We have, you have anything else? You supposed to, you supposed to tell them where they, where they can find a workout at. Hmm? That's how, that's said business page. No, we, okay. Did yeah. I not, did I not say your business page? Yeah, you said the business page. Man. Yesterday I forgot to call somebody out too. It's I good. guess I'm, 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 there's a lot going on in my head right now. It's all good. If you want some workout yeah. services, you can find us at finallyfit.live. That's www.finallyfit.live where you can pay $60 for your monthly subscription. That gets you two virtual workout classes, a weekly, uh, weekly workout challenges, as well as a monthly check-in with me where we can make sure that you set your goals and achieve some milestones on the way to those goals. All right? I got to get my, my point guard assistant back up. It's all good. I said it in my head <laughs> when you were going trying to try to uh, uh, lob me up first. I was gonna be like, "No, Jordan, what about Mondays and Wednesdays? What do you do?" <laughs> I kept I kept saying it in my head, and I, I thought I said it out loud. It's all good. We are stupid, stupid. All right, guys, <laughs> that's for me. All right, do you have anything else? No, sir. End of the episode. Well, remember to save more, say less, and keep making better your best. And we will catch y'all in the next one.